It is the 29th of April 2019. Welcome to New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Ruthina Sejin. These are the stories making the headlines across the country. Start of the bulletin from Buyende District, where plans are underway to kick rabies out of Uganda by the year 2030. Dr. Anna Rose Kut, the Commissioner for Animal Health and Agriculture Ministry, has said, and now she made the revelation during the World Veterinary Day celebrations at Buyende District Grounds in Buyende Town Council on Friday. Okurt said tackling rabies would involve ensuring that dogs are healthy. Dogs are friends of humanity, so they should be kept healthy. She said, now vaccinate them against rabies and wash them to keep away fleas. She appealed to the people who have the dogs. Now the theme for this year's World Veterinary Day celebrations was value of vaccination. Let's move on to Belisa district where over 300 adults and girls have received a free skills training under a program funded by Bela Uganda. Catherine Mbabazi, an official from Bela, said they would select more girls in groups of 100 and train them in different skills for six months. The training targets teenage mothers and girls who have dropped out of school. The assistant school inspector in Belisa, Sofia Kawanesa, said the dropout rate in the area is at 60%, while that of early pregnancies stands at 80%. You're still watching New Vision TV news around Uganda with me, Ruth Naseta. Take a break now and look at what is making the headlines in today's copy of the New Vision. For those who cannot access the hard copy of the New Vision, the link is on your screen. All you have to do is to subscribe to our e-paper and access all the products published by Vision Group. And those with smartphones, all you have to do is to go to your Play Store, download the Vision Group e-paper app and access all the products published by Vision Group. I am Ruthina Sejay, still launching New Vision TV news around Uganda. Let's continue looking at more stories making the headlines across the country. Now, from Lango parliamentarians from Lango sub county are divided over the election of Betty Amongi Ogom as chairperson of Lango parliamentary group. Amongi, the Oyam South member of parliament, who's also the lands minister, was elected as the new chairperson of Lango parliamentary group, a coalition of members of parliament from Lango sub-county. She replaced Felix Okot Ongom, an NRM MP from Doholo South. Among you stood against Dennis Hamson Obua, NRM MP in Ajura County, and Jonathan Odu, UPC MP, Erute South. Now she got 10 votes, while Obua and Odu got 6 and 3 votes, respectively. Other MPs did not cast their votes for various reasons. During the election, other office bearers who took office include Paul Amuru Omoriat, Omiat, an NRM Dohoro North MP, as Vice Chairperson, Doreen Amule, NRM MP, uh, Woman MP Amlata District, as General Secretary, Junith Aliak, an NRM Woman MP in Kole District. As treasurer and Dennis Hamson Boas, published secretary, as well, all went through unopposed. Let's close the bulletin from Alep Tong District, where United States Agency for International Development, he said, has lauded Uganda for its efforts in fighting malaria. The agency commended the government for distributing the mosquito nets, as well as timely diagnosis and effective treatment of malaria, you said Country Development Corporation Director Mame Niyang said efforts to fight malaria had reduced the mortality rates of children below the age of five by 34 percent and brought the general prevalence rate down to 42 percent from 42 percent to 19 percent. This was during the World Malaria Day function held at Alepton Grounds last week. Now Nyang said the U.S. had infested over 380 
million dollars, which is about one trillion million, one trillion shillings in malaria prevention and treatment in Uganda over the last 13 years. That is all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website, which is newvision.co.eug forward slash video. You can also follow us on social media. Facebook is The New Vision, Twitter is at New Vision Wire, Instagram is at New Vision Wire, and our YouTube channel is New Vision TV. Catch up with me on my Twitter handle. I am Ruth, the voice. Thank you for watching.